Hello, welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Daily Market Commentary. I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. A lot of you may recognize me from CNBC and some of those other online publications that I've done different types of market commentary, whether or not uh, it has to do with uh, commodities or spoos or, or any type of futures or options on that matter. Right now we've got the spoos up around 26 points today, close to the highs of the day. Many of you have been watching the market commentaries. Notice that I've been in the SPY. I did it for a short term trade. Did it on the weeklies last Friday, really tested me. I put it in on that Friday, really tested down around my 108 and a half strike. And now we've pushed back higher today, back above a lot of the, the trend line, back into that little channel there. Anyway, so that trade's really starting to work out for me. Unfortunately, we are starting to see volatility kind of contract a little bit here. I like to see vol expand, gives you a lot more opportunity in the markets. But you also notice from yesterday's commentary I put on IBM. IBM's working out real nice. As you can see, volatility is contracting. We got this market rallying. And IBM, I did the July 15s, the 155, 60 put spread. Put that on, that's coming in really nicely. I'm up uh, well over 50% on that trade right now. And what else did we do? We did the Walmart, it was the, the 71, 72 put spread. That one, unfortunately, isn't working out as nicely as, as the IBM. The reason why, you'll see, with IBM, we're starting to get fault actually expanding, despite the fact that um, the market's kind of rallying. Usually you see vol contract when the market's rallying. We've seen a push up here. Saw a good support yesterday when I told you guys about that 172, 171 put spread. Sold the 72s, bought the 71s. That one's rallying up, but you know it's it's keeping me from making a lot of profit just because vol's expanding. So as vol expands, that pushes the price of premium up in those options. So I'm not really seeing the, uh, the option decay the way I'd like to see it. Yesterday, after I did the market commentary, I put on a TLT trade. The reason being I wanted to put on the TLT because it looked like uh, it was kind of oversold to the downside. Might see a little bit of support, which we've seen today. It tested my 115 strike this morning. I did an iron condor and the, uh, it was the July iron condor. I did the 118.19 call spread for a 35 cent credit. I also did the, uh, the 114.15 put spread and did that for a 36 cent credit. And uh, that one hopefully will come in, push away from that, that strike that I'm being tested on in the puts right now, the 115 strike that I'm short. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, like I said, the spies, uh, spiders, SPY handle, did the July weeklies with two more days for expiration. I did the uh, 208 and a half, six and a half put spread in there. That one, I'm gonna let expire. Looks like it's gonna be expiring worthless. So that'll be a nice trade for me. Today, I put on because of that that volatility contraction. Only thing really to do is is buy options and hope that uh, that you'll see volatility expand. If we're in a rallying market, you're not going to really see that vol expand. So the next best thing to do is put on a calendar spread. So I did the July August the 210 put calendar in there, and I did it for a buck 54 on uh, a debit. That's or actually I should have bought that a buck 54 uh, debit. So we'll see how that works out. Usually that will take take into account a little bit of time decay or theta decay in the front month in the July and give me a little bit of time in the August to see a little bit of all expansion and, and work it out that way. So usually I like to do the Googles and things like that where they there's a big ticket item in there for the calendar spread, but the spooze or the spy looked like it was going to be the one to to do that in. So I, I took a shot there. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on these other trades. I'm going to keep holding on to this IBM and the Walmart, but it, it started working out for me today, so I, I thought I'd give you guys an update on that. Hopefully some of you guys uh, looked into putting that into your own accounts. But if you can't take that, take it easy.